what is your heart doing? How does your heart feel? I don't know what's happening. Hey Vivas, I'm back and today we're going to be taking a look at something relatively new from Moose Toys called a Thready Bear, which is pretty much one of the cutest teddy bears I've ever seen in my life. And it reminds me very much of Stitches from Animal Crossing. If you know, you know. And when I saw this on Instagram, I knew that I had to pick one up. So imagine my surprise when I found it on the Walmart website for $70 plus tax. And I'm pretty sure it's about $50 if you're in the States. To be honest, that is quite expensive for a teddy bear but Threddy is a little more than your average teddy bear. Focus on his face and you will see something pretty incredible. Did you catch that? Here I'll show you one more time. Guys, his eyes move, he's conveying emotion. Oh my goodness, he's got magic button eyes. And apparently he could do over 70 things like laugh, cry, and snore. He just shows all kinds of emotions. So let's go ahead and open him up and get a first hand look, cause right now, we're stuck on try me mode. Now this packaging is really cute and pretty simple to open by the looks of it. We've got a little bit of tape just holding the top in, so I will slice that. And the bottom is the exact same, which is fabulous because no matter how well behaved your children are, you got to admit, when something is exciting, it is really hard to wait patiently. So it's excellent when things can open up super quick like this did. Look at that. Just a piece of tape on either side of the box holding holding it in. We've got some tape, twine, and plastic jibbers holding them in to the back. By the way, we got some instructions down here. So I'll just go ahead and remove him from those. Nothing to it. Oh wait, we've got one more down here. What the heck? Okay, there's a knot on the inside behind his bum. You gotta do is untie him. There we go. There's a little bit of a tied string that was attached to the bottom of the bear and it sort of looks like a key. I am gonna switch it from what I believe to be try me mode and tuck it all back inside together just in case it needs to Day. I haven't read any instructions yet, so for now that's how that's looking. And now let's get into trying him out because I'm very excited. He is so cute. It's one thing to watch a video and like something, she says, as she's making a video, um, but totally different in person. So anyways, I've untied that piece of cardboard that was on the front and it's letting us know that he makes over 70 sounds. But now we need to go back to our package and carefully remove the big red button that's in the top corner. You can open it up and find his heart. It is just a big red button that is see-through and it's got two holes for us to string these laces through so that we can tie it up. This is good fine motor skill practice, by the way. There we go. He can feel love now. Does he sit? Yes, he does. I was worried because his head is so heavy. So he's not the very best for cuddling, but he's definitely super cute. So let's see what else was in his button. We've got a cardboard decorative circle here that says, I promise to love my thready bear. And it's written in English. French, possibly Italian, German, and Spanish. I might be wrong though. And we've also got this little Thready Bear quick start guide telling us what to do. So hopefully I've been doing it right. We're about to find out. It says preset to fast mode or see the instructions for slow mode, which is eight hours. Step one, take your heart and your promise. Check and check. Step two, attach them to your Thready Bear. Check. Step three, push on his heart. What? I don't know. Did I do something wrong? What did I do wrong? Preset to fast mode. I did that. Now what do we do with his heart? What is your heart doing? How does your heart feel? I don't know what's happening. He's supposed to sing when you push his heart, but that doesn't appear to be doing anything. This side just shows this little child having so much fun with her bear, loving him, hugging him, wishing on birthdays, crying, playing hide and seek, all the things you would do with a loved teddy. But I don't understand why mine's not doing the stuff. Am I doing something wrong? I don't understand it. Oh, maybe that did something. Hold on. Am I just complaining for no reason? Oh snap, I am. Okay, ignore everything I said. It turns out it works. Thing is, you need to remove the little plastic jibber. Now, in my defense, it doesn't say that in the quick start guide. Or did it? Did it say that and I'm just a nutter? It just says switch it off to fast and slow. 
didn't say that. Well, whatever. You're welcome, folks. Now you know. And knowing is half the battle. G.I. Joe. So there, our thready bear is now on. It says best friend. And look, it even says it on the other side in different languages. Awesome. Oh no, his heart is loose. We gotta fix his heart. We can't have that. Now back to a regular review. So here is our beautiful thready bear. He is so cute. He has an overall knitted fabric body, giving off a real homemade vibe, which I love. His overall color scheme is brown in a little bit of a color variation. So we've got darker on the left and lighter on the right. And the same goes for his purple and blue color schemes. For the arms, we've got purple on the left with teal on the right, which matches his ears. But for the feet, we've got teal on the left and purple on the right. And all of this matches his scarf. He looks very well made. I'm not noticing anything wrong with him other than a little snag in the fabric by his cheek here on the right side. But other than that, he looks really good. And before I continue on testing any features, I will quickly mention that if you're interested in picking this up for yourself or a little one, be aware that it is not a soft character. Like you're not really gonna go to bed with this unless you're placing it off to the side because other than the left arm, ears, and feet, everything else, although covered in a soft fabric, is hard. We do have a button in the right arm, a hard body for the belly area because this is where we've got our battery pack and sound and all that. Of course, there's the hard red button here and his head is super stiff, filled with the electronics that move his eyes. That being said, if you're interested in just an animatronic character that can do over 70 things, this could very well be something you're interested in. At this point, it's just a matter of giving it a try. So these instructions here show a child riding her bike with her bear, taking it to the park, eating cake, making wishes, playing a hide and seek, sharing a bedtime story, camping, piggyback rides, and spending time outdoors in the sun. Essentially, it is meant to be a best friend, which is absolutely adorable. And so now it's time to check them out for ourselves. Pushing on the heart did nothing. Pushing on the heart. What? So I'm gonna just read for a second here. So squeeze Thready Bear's paw to bring him to life. Once you bring him to life, you can now play together in many ways. So he's lighting up there. So I'm not sure if you were able to see that, but his heart was lighting up. Oh, I think he's got the sneezes. So it seems like he just woke up for the day. I think he's playing peekaboo. Wait, does he interact with our voice? Hello, Thready. I love you. So it seems like every few seconds he makes a movement of some sort. That's so cute. But it also seems like he might be voice activated. Hello. I love his little blink sounds. I love you. <laughs> so I really love the animations in his eyes. They just make it seem so real. Now, of course, there is a mechanical sound. I'll be quiet so you can hear it. But it's actually not as bad as I thought it would be. And basically his eyes just kind of move up and his cheeks go with it whenever he blinks or squints. And obviously we now know that he can tip his head from side to side. So far I've only seen him go to the left. So I wonder if he can go to the right. Wait, he's supposed to have a head sensor. But I don't see that doing anything. This is interesting. Does he have an accelerometer or anything? Oh, he's crying. Go to sleep, go to sleep, little Shreddy. Close your eyes. Hey, it's working. And rest your head, cause now it's time for bed. So now it's time to test out some features. Apparently, if we tap him on the head, we can get sounds and reactions. If we like touch and tickle his belly, he'll laugh. He's so cute. <laughs> if we hold on to his paw for a couple of seconds, he'll just make happy noises. And if we push the button, we can make him sing. He's got a signature selection, I guess, programmed into him. So let's go. I 
was, but it was cute and easy enough to learn. Let's see, is there another? He seems like he can only tip to the left, eh? I think he only has two songs. He's winking at us. Yeah, I think he only has two songs. Okay. Um, have a chat with your Thready Bear. He will listen as you speak and chat with you. All right. Hey, Thready Bear. I'm interested in trying out geocaching because I feel like that could be fun. That was a yes if I ever heard one. Geocaching bear to the rescue. I don't know why I said rescue. We're not in danger. <laughs> Hi, Thready. Today I took a one hour walk and I'm very tired. I think maybe we need to take a nap. I think that was a yes. Let's take a nap. Go to sleep, go to sleep. Go to sleep, little Thready. <laughs> okay, now to be fair, all you have to do is lie him down for him to sleep. You don't really need to rock him, but that's part of the um, role play, isn't it? Now, he makes over 70 sounds, like I said, but obviously I have no way of keeping track because there's so much going on. But one other thing that I do want to try is tossing him around because apparently that's one way to enjoy the adventure and fun. I feel like that's one good way to lose his heart though because it keeps coming loose and undone. So you do gotta be careful not to lose that. Does he do anything upside down? I don't know. All right there, Thready, how do you feel? Do you like life? Are you enjoying your time? Tell us something. <laughs> you betcha. You're just so stinking cute. Here, take a snooze. Do you work if you're sideways? Go to sleep. Oh, that didn't work. Good night, Thready. Good night, Thready. Good night, Thready. It's time to close your eyes. Good night, Thready. Good night, Thready. Good night, Thready. We'll see you in the morning. All right, guys, there you go. He's off to La La Land. Shh, he's streaming. And that's it for me and my first look at the new-ish Moose Toys Thready Bear. The bear that comes alive with moving eyes. Don't wake up, don't wake up. If you are a collector of interesting, cute plushes that are not so much on the soft side, but offer really great imaginative play for children, or maybe you'd like to pick one up for yourself to add it to story time, I think this would be fabulous. You just gotta keep in mind that the price is a little steep, and this is not so much recommended for straight up cuddling. Not to say it can't be done, but I mean, it's kinda hard. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Did I hurt you? I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hurt you, I'm sorry. Uh, I think he forgave me because he went back to bed. Anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did and haven't yet, then please remember to subscribe to my channel. That way you don't miss out on any future fun toy reviews, especially if it involves super cute animals that are trying to sleep. So that's it for me and Freddy. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.